Welcome back guys, we're back again with another Minecraft tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to add the Pixelmon mod to your server and also to your PC so you can either play in single player worlds or you can add it to your server, get started playing with all your friends with all the cool mods that Pixelmon has. So this is going to be quite an in-depth video. I'm going to be using Seekerhost here, our sponsor. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. They got loads of good packages, starting from a small family and friends one, all the way up to a custom huge server for hundreds of people. So with that, let's get into it. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually change our server type. We're going to be using a hosted server rather than one that we're hosting ourselves. I believe that to be better. You get better hardware, better security, and you don't have to go through all the port forwarding and stuff like that. So we're going to be using Seekerhost, like I said earlier. And the first thing you're going to do is want to change your server jar before you do this just make sure you haven't got any other files if you have been running another server it might be worth going to files going to setup and um, doing a clean mon directories and plugins and also delete all server files pop in your password and hit apply another way to do this is connect up through filezilla as you can see here i am connected up there is nothing in my server directory because i highlighted it all deleted it and i've got a nice fresh server so it won't have any mix up with any other files from any other java types or any bedrock servers depending on what you've been hosting so for pixelmon we're going to need 1.12.2 version for the one that we're playing right now so what we're going to want to do is open up our server jar we want to come down to forge and we want to find 1.12.2 so let's go ahead and click that if you want to change any other information go ahead and do it now before you hit save then hit save and then get your server started that'll just kick in all the forge jar files it all load up so you can actually run a forge server add your mods to it so you and your friends can join online that should only take uh, about 30 seconds here on seeker host it really is quite quick and just like that we're on a forge 1.12.2 server now for the next important bit which is actually downloading the pixelmon mod and also getting the forge installer so we are going to go for everything if you do want to skip to a certain part because you've already done this use the timestamps below in the description and you can skip past this bit if you've already done it so next up is actually going to be installing the forge so your launcher will be able to launch forge 1.12 if you are using the curse forge app a little bit different you can just go to browse mod packs and find the mod pack that way and get it installed however i'm going to be using the old school method or just the method i find to work really well and that's going to be downloading the actual forge one so let's go ahead and on the left hand side you're going to see that we have a 1.12 version let's go ahead click on that and then it's going to give us the three versions available we want to go for 1.12.2 so let's go and click on this it's now taking us to the installer page and it's going to give us two options whether we want to download the latest or the recommended one you can of course check for numbers here to make sure um what works with what but i've tried this already and we're going to go for the recommended that works really well and let's go ahead and download the installer now when it opens up this page just make sure you don't click anything on the top right corner you're going to see a countdown to five once that countdown you can then hit skip and then you can start downloading the file just make sure you actually keep here of course make sure that it is the correct file that's the forge 1.12.2 installer jar we don't want any other files so let's go ahead and keep that because we're going to need it so we can see we've downloaded the forge file over here so what we're going to do is i'm just going to go over i'm just going to cut it from here and i'm going to paste it into my folder so i know exactly where it is all i'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop and um, you can of course just put it on your desktop put it wherever you know that um you're going to be able to access it again i've made a pixel one folder just here you can literally put this anywhere I'm just going to paste it right here. Just make sure to actually close this page down. So it's got full, uh, so it's full of ads that you really don't want to click on that page. So now we want to get the Forge installer installed, of course, so we can actually go ahead and play with the mods to get started with. Um, it will be able to play on our PC. And of course, once we install the mods on our server, we'll be able to play on both. So what you're going to want to do is just find the file here called Forge. It's got to look like that with that particular icon right there, the Java icon. And you're going to want to go down to Open With, and you're going to find Open JDK platform binary it's java and you need to have it installed for it to play if you don't have it installed no problem what i'll do is i'll leave a link in the bottom you can just go ahead and install it install that before you try to install forge because you need the java for it to actually work if that still doesn't work and your icons are coming up um, not as the java icon sign that you're expecting i'll leave another link for a fixer all you got to do is open that up press ok and it will fix all your files so they're able to work now just make sure you actually do this otherwise your forge won't work on your pc so now we've got that done we've opened with a java it's going to ask whether we want to install for client or install for server 
So we've already got it installed on our server. We don't need to worry about that. So we can just do install client and let's go ahead and click OK. Now what it's going to do, it's going to download all the libraries that we need. And as quickly as that, it's done. Now just to check that it's actually been downloaded, let's open up our Minecraft launcher over here. And we're just going to go to the installations and see or make sure that we actually have our Forge 1.12.2 installation. And as you can see, it is right there straight away. Top on the list, 1.12.2. If you haven't got it, just head over to your installations. Make sure that modded is ticked and then search for a new installation and look for this one right here now we'll go ahead and close this down because we don't actually need this right now now that we've got the forge installer installed we want to actually get the pixel one mod so that's the actual mod itself and all any side mods that you might want with it which i'll explain in a minute so downloads if you click download now it's going to take you down the page and it's going to have all the corresponding downloads the top one is usually the latest release and this is also where you can check if they're compatible with the forge that you've just downloaded i'm going to go ahead and click download on the top one on the list there because that's going to be the latest version it's going to bring you to the media file page and you're going to hit the blue download button it will usually open up another page which you just want to close down right there go ahead to your downloads and just make sure that it's actually able to download it might at first tell you you're not allowed to just make sure you actually press keep and make sure the file is a pixel generations 1.12.2 uh, with a few numbers and then jar make sure it is the right one before you go ahead and download it it's a bit of a large file so it can take a little bit longer so what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that downloading in the meantime and we want to go check out any side mods so if we just go back on the page over here and then we scroll down of course i will be leaving the links to all of this in the description you can see down here that we got download side mods now if you click here you can check out any side mods that go along with pixelmon it'll add different features and just make the gameplay a little bit better if you see here it says version and a lot of them will either be universal it'll be for servers in particularly and you've got everything from pixel extras wonder trade eco bridge vitality for apis and all good stuff like that so at this point as the other ones downloading we may as well download the ones that we want so let's say we want pixelmon extras or any of these mods doesn't matter you can download all of them if you want to they are added equally as easily it's not a big long process probably the longest process would just be downloading them individually so let's say we want the pixelmon extra for example we're going to hit download very much in the same way we're going to hit download again it's going to be a slightly different screen you can press on this one the blue download button right there and it's going to download it to your pc on there click the three buttons and go ahead to keep so once the pixelmon generations mod has downloaded fully it is quite a large one so it will take a little bit longer and all of your side mods just make sure you got them in one easy folder to access because you want you're going to need to um, move them to another folder just to get them going to the mods once downloaded your folder should look a little bit like this it will have all of the mods as a jar file you also have your pixelmon generations right here and all of the side mods um, up and down right here so let's just put this folder aside for a second we can go ahead and close the pixelmon generations page down so we don't need that anymore and the first thing to do is actually add our mods to our pc so we're able to log on to servers using the same mods and we can also use them for our single player worlds to do that you're going to want to do a percentage mark then app data in your search bar and then a percentage mark once more what this is going to do is going to bring you up to the folder um, and the top one there is going to be dot minecraft all you got to do is double click on the dot minecraft and you're going to come down to folders right here now you're going to see that your folder is empty and you haven't got any mods in there because you've just started up your forge and you just won't have any mods actually in there already so from here we're going to head on to our folder where we actually downloaded all of our mods so far we're going to select the ones that we want and of course the pixelmon generations because that is the actual pixelmon mod the main one is the biggest file and that's what will play our pixelmon mod on there so if you just want a plain pixelmon server you can just do the pixelmon generations right here everything else will be optional in a side mod if you want to i just wanted to show you how you can do it in case you wanted to add them as well so let's go ahead and select pixelmon generations we want that and then just go and find any side mods that you want to add as well i'm going to go for the agp right here i'm going to go for pixels extra pixel hunt pokey clear pokey stops and also vitality so as you can see i've got the exact mods that i want on the server so i've got the main pixelmon generations one right here and all the other ones are side mods so let's go ahead and copy these files right here now we can go back to our app data file again that was percentage mark app data percentage mark again open it up go to dot minecraft head on back to your mods file right here and we're going to go ahead and paste the files so now we've got all of our mods all in the right folder this might just take a minute it shouldn't take as long as actually downloading the pixelmon mod it's usually a little bit faster and once complete you will have all of your mods in the mod folder for your forge 
1.12.2 installer and you can go ahead and actually play a single player game now so let's just close these down and we're just going to head over to forge just to make sure that we can actually log in with our single player and make sure that the mods are loaded on our pc side so we've got our minecraft launcher opened up we've got our forge 1.12.2 make sure you actually have the selected before you press play otherwise it will just be on a different version so select this one and go ahead and press play as you can see the mods are actually starting to work already they've been downloaded one thing you might have noticed as well is the biomes of plenty that also comes as another mod that will be added within the pack just to make the experience a little bit better so don't worry not a glitch that has been added to the pixel mon pack so we've all started up let's go ahead to our mods folder here and you're going to see that we have all of our mods loaded in we've got biomes of plenty Pixelmon, Pixel Extras, and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and press Done. Then we're going to go to Single Player. Let's go ahead and create a new world. And just like that, we have our Pixelmon activated. We can go ahead, pick our Pokemon. And as you can see, we have other Pokemons. We can start a fight, um, try and run, etc. And we've got the game working, Single Player. So now that we've got all of our mods added to our PC, we now want to add the same mods to our server. So we can go ahead, join on with our friends, and actually get playing. So back to the server now. And of course, we need to upload our mods. To do this, just make sure that you have everything um, properly down. So you've got your Forge 1.12.2, you've chosen your world name. So let's just go ahead and start our server. Once we have started, we are going to have to change up some of the files. However, we need it to actually start first to have the settings there to save. And you're almost there. All you need to do now is add your mods, just change a few bits in the settings, just for the biomes of plenty to work. And I just want to specify that particular mod will get added in with the Pixelmon Generations jar. As soon as it starts up, it will also open up the biomes of plenty. Don't have to go down that manually and it'll be the same for your pc once you've uploaded it to your mods it will also upload the biomes of plenty jar which will then upload the mod so you can use it so as you can see we've now all started here with our server and what we want to do is just head over to our files and what we want to do again unfortunately is just going to be stopping the server so there's going to be a few things that we want to do here just to make sure that it's working properly the first thing is it's going to files and we're going to go to config files and we're going to go to server settings here of course um i would suggest changing this over to how you want it because you may as well do this now rather than later so change all your settings whether you want to allow nether difficulty and all that stuff so what we're going to be doing is uh, going to level type and we're going to be choosing customized it new normally will come on default so we just got to change that and we're going to come down to save once we've saved you can see config file saved and we're going to come down to pixelmon or whatever your server is called now that we've done that we actually want to get our mods added onto our server and to do this you can just go onto your ftp file access you can go to mods and you can upload them one by one using the upload button i wouldn't suggest trying to upload them all at the same time so that won't work very well however what i prefer to do is use filezilla i just find it a lot easier a lot quicker to actually transfer the files over if you're not sure how to do this we do have a very quick and easy tutorial just to get yourself logged in it just involves using your ftp file uh, access information popping in the host username password and port just there of course once you have connected um, you can just use the quick connect button over there and you can see this is what we have in our server we have our pokey world world and we have our mods folder however we don't actually have any mods in there so what we're going to do the same as before um we're we're going to put our mods in there so on the left hand side i have my file so as you can see i had a uh, pixelmon and here we have all the mods so first of all what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding the main pixelmon generations over here so i'm just going to highlight this if you do have biomes of plenty don't worry, don't have to add that on. That will just come on with the Pixelmon Generations mod. So let's just go to the AGP because we wanted that. We also had Pixel Extras. Pixel Hunt, Pixel Clear, and Vitality. So these are all the mods that we added on our PC side. So this is what we're going to have to add on the server. And anybody else that wants to join your server will have to have the same mods. So it's always good to have a list of the mods that you do have. And if you actually want to join the server, because I will make it public so people can actually go on and play as well, I've got a very neat web page which will show you all the links to actually download these as well. So let's go ahead and just drag these to the right hand side. And again, if you are using your FTP file access on the Multicraft over here, it's just going to be a case of going to your mods folder as you can see they're already been added and going to upload and adding them one by one over here now this will take a little bit all the rest of the mods will go quite quickly however the pixelmon generations will take a little while so we'll catch you again when this is all done and we'll finish up with the server great so with that all done we can now go back to our server we can close filezilla or come off of this if you're on your ftp file access and now we're going to be changing a few bits around so one of the first things to do before you actually start your server is just come over to your ftp file access one more time and you're going to delete your old world the reason for this is because with the biomes of plenty it's just not going to work the generation isn't going to work or isn't going to be that good or it might be a bit buggy and we don't want that we want a nice fresh world with good generation so we've deleted the world so when it opens back up again it 
it will make another world by the same name. So now we need to change one more thing. Of course, you've come over to your files, you've changed the config file, so it's a custom server. However, one more thing that you need to do is come over to your FTP file access and then come down to your server properties and then manually change it. So if we come over to edit on the right hand side here, Seekerhost do have a very neat way of being able to do that and just edit it on site without having to use Notepad++. If we come down to level type, you can see it's now customized. That would normally say default or whatever level type you have. If we take this out right here and we're going to do it all in capitals and it's going to be biomes op so biomes are plenty that's all in capitals with no spaces and then we're going to go ahead and save now that's all saved we're going to come down to our pixelmon server and we've pretty much got everything ready we can now go ahead and start our server we've got all of our mods and if you're worried about the uh biomes are plenty why haven't i got it why isn't it in my list that will generate as soon as you start the pixelmon generations mod and it's also generated on your pc as well as soon as you've uploaded it to your pc and your forge that's also opened up the biomes are plenty mod so we're just going to wait a minute now just for it all to load up so then we can come and join in ourselves once it is done we can then start sharing our domain or ip on port with our friends and start growing the server get people joining on and having fun with the pixelmon mod now the server's all started up we're just going to open up minecraft launcher again of course we're going to be on 1.12.2 forge and we're going to go ahead and play we're going to go find our server and then join on now that our launcher is all opened up we're going to go to multiplayer then we're going to go ahead and add our server so i've added mine just called it jdogs pixelmon um i probably need to change the message of the day and stuff like that but again you can just do that later as you can see the server's open and we have our ticks let's go ahead and join server we can now just go and pick a pokemon and just like that we have our pixelmon server full with all the biomes of plenty all the other mods that you've added and you can now get your friends join of course just make sure if your friends do want to join that they've got the same mods added and if you do want to try this server out yourself i'll leave the ip and stuff like that in the description or the page to actually get joined from i'll leave all the mods on there which i've used myself so you can download them yourselves all the links to actually get the mods as well and then if you really like it get yourself your own pixelmon server so thanks again for watching we'll catch you again on the next minecraft video bye bye